Ion Winter Storm 2014. And we want to go straight to meteorologist <laughs> Justin Locke. Some dangerous driving conditions will be on our way a little bit later today. Yeah, you want to plan accordingly for sure. You don't want to be on the roadways late this afternoon, I'd say after 4 p.m., and especially late this evening as a uh, nasty wintry mix is on the way. Let me show you where we're headed. This is Future Tracker at 7 o'clock tonight. You notice the huge swath of pink indicating freezing rain and sleet for our entire viewing area. And this is kind of the peak of the storm when it begins and will uh, continue to peak at least through 8, 9, 10, right in through the midnight hour before beginning to wrap up early Wednesday morning. You can see right now temperatures well above freezing in Charleston. We're at 44. We're at 30, though, in the upstate at Greenville. So the cold air is on the way. We have scattered light showers across our coastal communities this morning. Uh, right across Charleston County, it is wet. We have winter storm warnings in white for most of the state with ice storm warnings closer to the coast are all of Charleston County, coastal Compton County, down toward Beaufort, where ice will be more of an impact, not so much of the snow. We could see a quarter of an inch to three Three quarters of an inch of ice accumulation. And of course, that does not bode well on the trees and the power lines. And we could have widespread power outages if we're talking uh, ice accumulations on the order of a half an inch or more. So rain only this morning for your drive time forecast. If you're running some last minute errands, heading out to work, even for school, temperatures in the 40s to start. We fall to around 36, though, by 8 a.m. So use a little uh, extra caution this morning. Extreme caution advised later on this afternoon with temperatures right around freezing. A wintry mix here, four, five, and six. 6 o'clock, and this is when the storm just starts getting going. Things will deteriorate rapidly after that into the overnight hours. And we'll take you hour by hour and let you know how much snow uh, your backyard is expecting or ice. As of right now, we're going to check on the roadways and see if there are any issues for you out there this morning if you are heading out. Kim, what's going on?